It's important that you know what you believe, why you believe it, and what the Word of God says in Scripture. To know your Bible, what it says about certain things, past, present, or future. Because the Bible is a past, present, or future book. Jesus said, I am the same yesterday, today, and forever. He's eternal. He had you in mind before the foundation of the world. We need to put our trust not in buildings, not in things, not in material things, not in money, not in anything in this world but our trust is in God our Saviour lots of things in this world that lead us away from God all the material things and things of this world and various other world views lead us away from God and so that's why we need to know our scripture and trust in the God who revealed it Jesus said don't store up your treasures on earth where rust and moth corrupt and where thieves break in and steal store up your treasures in heaven where rust or moths cannot destroy and where no thief can steal it from you because there's no sin in heaven there's no rust in heaven there's no moth in heaven there's nothing that can corrupt in heaven we will have bodies though they are corruptible now they will become incorruptible when we are changed and transformed at the rapture. Your life on this earth is not valued by what things you've collected here on earth, what material things you have or anything like that. It's about your life as a person, how you have shared the gospel and how you have been a light, salvation, teaching people, telling people about Jesus, telling people about the life that you have. It's nothing to do with material things. However, blessed you may be you may have the best cars the best house this that all these great things but they are not your testimony your testimony is your ability and your love for god these things just don't matter at all it's better off not have them than to have them and assume or think oh people will look at you and say oh how blessed they are i want some of that it's not about things it's about the light that is in you it's jesus that saved you from sin and he can do the same for anyone else around you if you testify to that and you are a light for that word that gospel of truth a lot of pastors are teachers on tv who spread what's called the prosperity gospel name it and claim it you're given to god in order to get blessings and that life isn't about blessing you are blessed to be alive you're blessed to have breath in your body you're blessed to have a voice is to hear, eyes to see, a nose to smell, breath in your mouth, the ability to speak and share God's good news. That's your blessing. It's not about things. If you use and abuse the Bible in this way, you're talking about prosperity and things of this world, your best life is now. Because it, if you think it's all about things and of this world and looking good, you can't expect anything else beyond because you aren't because you aren't looking to heaven. You aren't looking to eternal things you're looking at things on this earth and how good you look and how great you are and how blessed you are just because you believe in Jesus the devil believes in Jesus the devil knows the word of God he knows all that's in there he doesn't like it but he believes it and that's why he tries to steer people away from the gospel you can only avoid the heretical and twisted teachings of some of these people if you know the word of God yourself and you should check out what people say in the pulpit any pulpit and anywhere on tv on youtube including myself anything that was said test it with the word of god bible says we should examine ourselves continually measure ourselves by the word of god let the word read you as you read it the word convicts us of our sin it convicts us of his righteousness so that we can follow him jesus said his sheep know his voice and follow him and they won't follow another voice if they know his and that's why we must abide in him in his word